Hey. Ready? Our natural condition outside of a political state is solitary. Poor, nasty, brutish, and short. You know who said that? Thomas Hobbes. Cigarette? You know, it's our job to ensure that their lives are short. We are seriously considering killing this man. Why'd you stop me today, boy? So what are we looking for? Sniping positions, elevated tree lines, patrol routes. We're also looking for tire tracks. Tells us when the most recent troop transport came through. Binoculars. Yeah. German outpost to the northeast. No apparent evidence of occupation. Hills to the north and the east. Good sniping positions. Fighting the birds, Avi. Yes, sir. For secondary school. Ah, secondary school. You know, boys should be chasing girls at your age, not some feather tails of some geese or grouse. Do you boys play football? Uh, yeah. Everyone at school plays during our recreational period. Ah, I'm sure you enjoy it just as much as my boy Klaus. He plays for the local team. I have not seen him play in centuries. As you boys can imagine, I don't get much action out here. It's really nice having someone to talk to. Is that a bad thing? Nine, I appreciate the safety. Aber is a solidarity as that gets me. So, what do you even guard here, anyways? Ooh, the vice that's our concern? No, he's just, uh, curious. That's all. Big into military and stuff. <laughs> Admittedly, not much. Za is a grass runway, but 100 yards in that direction. And this is an refueling station and lodging station. You boys should come up sometime. The plane's on, and it's super cool. I'm sure you'd enjoy it. Like I told you before, we didn't have enough information at the time. Bullshit! We had the opportunity, and you stopped me from taking it. Why do we even need to kill a father guarding an abandoned airstrip? Why? Why? Because it's our moral responsibility. Our duty. The Churchill Club authorized this mission, provided resources for this mission. Like it or not, board, we're duty bound now. So get on fucking board. Hey, wake up, Sleeping Beauty. Time to take the first shot in the fight to reclaim Denmark. Take a little walk to the edge of town and go across the track. Where the viaduct looms like a bird of doom as it ships and cracks. Where secrets lie in the border fires and the humming wires, yeah, man, you know you're never coming back. Past the square, past the bridge, past the mills, past the stacks. On a gathering storm comes a tall, handsome man in a dusty black coat with a red right hand. Take the shot. Why do I have to take the shot? You're a better shot than me. Take the shot. Do it for our brothers in Norway. My brother, who was killed by a man wearing that uniform. For our families and countrymen that serve as lapdogs to those pigs. Restore their dignity, their pride. Take the shot. No. No, 
No, I won't do it. When we joined this club, we joined on two rules. Two fundamental rules. One, we allow the enemy a fair fight. We don't stab people in the back. And two, we don't kill people for personal revenge. This mission violates both. Georgia, we cut telephone lines. We steal guns. We don't kill people. Killing people's a line that can't be uncrossed. Dinsata's not. What were the guns for then? Why would we steal them if not to use them? Look, they're the enemy, and for that reason alone, they deserve to die. Give me the fucking gun, I'll do it myself.